First of all, we are going to create our first shape. Now we are going to create our path that you want it to follow. Let's close our shape. Now we can extrude it and let it follow our path. Now I'm going to wheel these lines so that we can see the length of the total line that we can use later on for this project. Now we need to use the right length that we measured earlier on. So this line will be as long as this line right here. That will be useful later in the project where we are going to pro project the pattern on the object. So now you can see the length of this line that you can use to create a rectangle. Let's make a group of this and another group of these two lines right here. Let's hide this. Make one less group. Now make a group of everything except the base object. And we use this extension called Flowify. It's a free extension, you can find it in the warehouse. Now we have divided this rectangle in smaller pieces. Next thing we are going to do is we are going to create a new rectangle, the same size, and hide the other one together with the other objects. Let's now use the power bar plugin. We are going to create vertex points on the surface so we can split the surface. 
Don't forget to place points on the edges of the surface. Let's use another free plugin, it's called Voronoi. Now we have divided the surface. And if we choose this option, we can create nice little shapes with rounded corners in those triangles. You can see there is a small distance between the edges of the circle and the edges of the triangles. And you can change them. If you click on tab, while clicking the triangle, you can choose the offset in millimeters. So now I put in 300 and you can see the distance is a lot bigger. So we are going to use 80 as a difference. I think that looks good, but you can choose that depending on the project you're going to do. Now we have the shapes that we want to project on the original base object later on. So we are going to erase all of the lines between the circles. We can't use them. So we are going to explode it and then erase all the lines. Now we can extrude. I'm going to go with 5 cm. It really depends what you want. So, And then after that you can choose to color the, the surfaces of the circles. Um, I'm going to go with glass. You can also delete them. So it are just openings or give them another material. But I think uh, glass looks best. Now there's only one thing to do, we are going to use a Flowify plugin again. So we are going to select these groups, Flowify, and now wait a second, and it is projected. Now we only have to delete this group we made earlier, and those points we can delete too. And now we have this. The only thing we can do is to um, get rid of all those lines, we can use the soft and smooth edges but not slide too far because it will look really weird. So now we're done 